This one is going to be all about patches 3.23.1a.2 and Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that we're doing a giveaway for the Morai Pulse. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of June. Let's get into the video. All right, so we have a new patch, uh, Star Citizen Alpha 3.23.1a. Um, that was uh, dropped into the PTU uh, for um, everybody to test and um, this one actually has a potential to be a release candidate if all goes well. Okay, So we're going to go straight into the patch notes for this one and um, as usual testing focus is going to be stability and uh, Xeno threat itself. Okay, so. Um, they made a few changes here under ships and vehicles. They um, they made some tuning for the Hornet. All right, it says Hornet tuning update. It says F7A Hornet Mark II lateral strafe capability have been fixed and should now be in line with tuning expectations. The F7CR strafing capacity adjustment lowered boost feel use of entire Anvil Hornet series. Okay, so. The Hornet will last a little bit longer. I did notice that with the Hornet, I was running out of fuel within my first bounty mission. So I'm glad that they're updating them now. All right, so under bug fixes, there's actually just one. They fixed an issue where the player cannot access PU due to 30K crash or infinite loading. It says, wait for tutorial mission. This will fix some account once build is in live. So nothing to test on the BTU. Along with this is one server crash fix. So hopefully this one goes well and remains as the release candidate. And um, so if it does, we should expect a live patch later on this week. So now pertaining to Star Citizen Alpha 3.23.2, um, we're still waiting, still haven't had much word, but we did hear a little bit pertaining to this specific patch. Um, there was a Spectrum post, uh, which I, I only seen a screenshot of it. So I'm just going to talk to you about it. I'm not going to have the link for it because um, I, I, I'm not able to find it. But there was a discussion where um, I think uh, CIG was asked, one of the CIG uh, community managers was asked uh, what's going on with 3.23. And um, essentially they, uh, they were asked that uh, what was going on with the blockers, have the blockers. There was three main blockers that that was holding it back from going into Evo Kadi. And uh, he essentially said that those blockers have been resolved. But as they resolve those blockers, other ones, other issues cropped up after resolving those. So this is the reason why 3.23 is still being held back before going into Evo Kadi. So um, like I said in the past, uh, 3.23.2 is going to be a patch that's going to go through a long um, patch cycle due to the fact that it touches everything all aspects of the game so this is actually really a, a big patch um, in terms of its impact in the persistent universe okay so um, hopefully they figure out these issues and get this out I doubt we'll see it this week but hopefully we get it to see it next week so now with this additional context when we think about stars is now for 4.0 um, to be quite honest, I don't expect it to um, meet the Q3 um, goal that CIG has because 4.0 is also another big one. It's probably it's going to be the biggest one and there's going to be a lot of thorough testing. So I anticipate probably Q4 um, and possibly Q4 and year PTU possibly. Um, just looking at how things is going with the uh, 3.23.2. Um, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully they do meet uh, the goals that they've set for themselves. But um, we'll see. We'll see what CIT does with this. But yeah, so you guys let me know your thoughts. Do you guys think we'll actually get 4.0 on time? Do you guys have any idea what's actually going on with 3.23.2? Let me know in the comments down below before I let you go. My organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.